Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my online class. This is Asad Jaman Rasim, lecturer in English, got Shohid Siti Adashi College, Nandai Maninsi. Dear learners, how are you? I hope you are well by the grace of Almighty. And I am also fine by the grace of Allah. Today, I will conduct my second session for the class of HSC first year students. In my last class, I introduced myself before you and asked every student for giving his identity by comments. Dear learners, you already know the English syllabus for both subjects, English first paper and second paper. And you have also known the marks distribution of both subjects. So, I cannot want to repeat it here. So, I would like to go to syllabus. But I think it is necessary for every student to have basic knowledge of English grammar. So, I, will, I want to start my discussion from basic English. Hence, I have decided that I will start my discussion from sentence. That means my today's topic is sentence. So, at first we should know what sentence is. On the board, I have written what sentence is. That is the definition of sentence. I think it is very easy and understandable and it is very meaningful for the students. That is, sentence is a group of words. We all know sentence means a group of words and it is arranged in a proper word. If these words are arranged in proper word, then that is sentence, otherwise not. And in these sentence, must be having a subject and a feeling verb. If in a sentence having a subject and a feeling verb, then it is a correct sentence, otherwise not. And finally, it expresses a complete meaning. If these words express a complete meaning, then it is sentence, otherwise not. That means, in the definition of a sentence, we find some main points of a sentence. Main point of sentence. That is, in a sentence, in the definition we find a group of words, second, proper word, third, having a subject and a feeling verb. Finally, a complete meaning. Okay? Now, I am writing a sentence on the board. They play football They play football regularly. 
it is a sentence because in in this sentence we find a group of words not only a group of words these words are arranged in a proper order and in this sentence you also find a subject and definite verb and these words express a complete meaning so we can say that it is a correct sentence okay dear learners now we will see the classification of sentence we can classify the sentence according to sense first according to meaning and second according to structure according to meaning sentence is divided sentence is classified into five parts one is assertive assertive second is interrogative third is imperative fourth is optative five or final is x plus mandatory sentence assertive sentence what is the assertive sentence assertive sentence it expresses a statement it expresses a statement structure of assertive sentence structure subject plus verb plus others subject plus verb plus others now i'm writing a an example rony drives a car that is an example of a static sentence next interrogative sentence interrogative sentence it expresses a question it expresses a question structure of interrogative sentence structure of interrogative sentence w is question plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb plus others plus sign of interrogation that is the structure of interrogative sentence now we will see an example 
where do you live? Where do you live? That is where the base question do auxiliary verb then you subject and leave is main verb then imperative sentence eat expresses eat expresses Advice request order suggest etc. Structure of imperative sentence. Structure of imperative sentence. At first, verb plus others. Now, I am writing an example. Give me a pen. It is an example of imperative sentence because it expresses a request that is give me a pen and in this sentence at first we put verb then others object and second object so it is an imperative sentence Fruit is optative sentence. Optative sentence expresses a we and or wish structure of objective sentence may plus SLT sentence structure Structure of assertive sentence, a first may plus assertive sentence. Now I am writing an example of optative sentence. May I come? May I come? In this sentence we put at first may. Then an assertive sentence at first subject plus verb plus others. So it is the objective sentence. Next and finally, next and finally we will see Next, or finally, we will see the exclamatory sentence. X club may talk. Exclamatory sentence. Eat. 
expresses a sudden happiness or so it expresses the sudden happiness or so for example rave we have all the game that is an example of sentence my students in my next class i will discuss the classification of sentence according to structure and i asked all of my students all of my beloved students to join with me and to have the uh, knowledge of sentence so uh, today is no more and thank you thank you very much for enjoying my class